Hello friends, I welcome you all for this lecture on R.K. Narayan's The Bachelor of Arts, a study of plot, structure and characters. In this lecture, I will talk on the important major and minor characters in the novel, the plot structure of the novel, the setting of the novel and also I will talk on the thematic division of the novel. It is one of the popular novels by R.K. Narayan and I hope you will enjoy this lecture. Here is the list of uh, important characters in R.K. Narayan's well-known novel, The Bachelor of Arts. There are several major and minor characters in the novel. They are Chandran, who is the protagonist of the novel, his father and mother, uh, Malati, Sushila, Ramu, Mohan, they all are major characters. We have also other characters like Professor Brown, Mr. Gajapati, principal of the college, Professor Raghavachar, Veera Swami, Mr. D. W. Krishna Iyer, Raju, Kamla, Mr. S. T. Murgesam, Mr. Shankar, Mr. Jairam Iyer, Aziz, and few more other important characters in the novel. But Chandran is the protagonist and the whole story of the novel revolves around his life. Chandran is a student of history, he is studying in a college and he lives in Tamil Nadu and follows the tradition and conventions of his place and time. So he has a very loving family. Uh, there are three members in his family. They are his father, mother and a brother. Chandran has a very good loving friend uh, whose name is Ramu. So the story is all about Chandran and his life, how he travels from one place to another, how his life takes different turns and how he spends his life in his college at Malgudi, how he travels to Madras and then how he returns back to his home. So it's a kind of a journey and during which Chandran has changed or has evolved. So the whole story is about this kind of a development, this kind of a change in the life of Chandran. The novel, The Bachelor of Arts, is structurally divided into four parts. There are total 18 chapters in the novel, which are divided into four parts. The first part, include includes chapters from 1 to 5 then the second part includes chapters from 6 to 10 the third part includes the chapters from 11 to 13 and the last fourth part includes chapters from 13 to 18 and if you see the setting of the novel, it is in Tamil Nadu. Most of the things happen at college, in Malgudi and in Madras. So all the chapters, they develop the story of Chandran and his life. And also they reveal his journey and changes in his life. So if you see the first part, it talks about his college life, then how he falls in love with Malati, then how he leaves his house and goes to Madras and leaves a life like a hermit, and then how he decides to return back to his home and he 
marries Sushila and settle down in his hometown. So it's a kind of a journey. And it presents, the novel presents the story of Chandran, his family, his friends, and also life in South India in the middle of 20th century. So it's not only the story of Chandran, but it also a story of people who were living a very traditional, typical kind of life and following the conventions of their time and place. Thematically, the novel, The Bachelor of Arts, is divided into four parts. These four parts represent different stages in the life of Chandran. And these four stages are Chandran's college life, the entry of Malati in his life, then how he leaves his house and goes to Madras, and then he returns to his home and marries Sushila. So these four parts, they also present different stages or changes in the life of Chandran and his family. So Chandran is a very busy and typical kind of a student who is busy in his exam and also in various college activities. He is a typical college student and his life is changed after his graduation. He enters into the professional world, but now it is very difficult for him to adjust or balance his life. Amid the legacy of colonialism, it is very difficult present situation and also very uncertain future. He wants to change his stereotypical life. Moreover, he wants to break conventions and enjoy the freedom out of the conservative situation. But a change has occurred in his life uh, with the entry of Malati in his life to whom he meets at the village river. He falls in her love and always thinks about her. He also forces his parents to approach Malati's parents and fix their marriage. So just for the sake of their son, Chandran's parent, uh, they surrender their wish and meet Malati's parents at her house. But the twist has taken place in his life or in the story and the stars in their horoscope come between their marriage. So they could not marry because of Mangal in their horoscope. So Chandran feels very helpless and uh, he feels very sorry, unhappy in the hands of his fate. His life is completely changed. So in a very desperate mood, he leaves his house and goes to Madras. Uh, there he lives in a hotel, wanders on street and lives very hopeless, purposeless kind of life, just like a hermit. He loses his interest in all earthly things and he becomes a fakir by growing long hair. So he has developed an extreme self-denial and austerity. He travels various parts and has acquired fame as an accomplished sage. But again, he his mood is changed and he feels guilty for deceiving his parents and leaving them for a couple of months. And again, he decides to return back to his parents. Chandran's aimless life in Madras 
as a hermit has changed and he decides to return to his home and start again the routine household life with his parents he joins the publish publishing house and readily accepts his parents proposal of marriage with a girl chosen by them for him but he still remembers malti and always haunted by her memories and the days that they spent together with some initial refusal and uncertainty he accepts his parents proposal and he marries sushila a girl a brahmin girl whom his parents have chosen for for him initially he feels nervous and also uncertain but again his life has taken another turn he starts liking sushila and falls in her love after visiting her house so the meeting with sushila has developed same desire and love in his mind that was forgotten long ago he readily marries sushila who too comes with a considerable dowry so after marriage chandran's life becomes normal he starts living a very typical kind of a routine life he starts living his peaceful domestic life by returning to his original roots and traditions followed by his brahminical society so his life has changed from a very desperate youngster to a mature married man who finds solace in his family and in the domestic responsibilities so the novel is about chandran's transformation from a young man with itinerant beams to a responsible man who is settled with his family and feels happy with his responsibilities and with his family members so the novel the bachelor of arts presents chandran's life his journey and also a story of typical indian family in the mid of 20th century in the backdrop of a village in south india it is also argued that it is an autobiographical novel where we have couple of experiences couple of personal experiences of the author but it is a perfect blend of traditional and modern values rk narayan has beautifully depicted the vibrant life of people from south india with a subtle humor in the popular setting of malgudi so it's very beautiful and interesting novel and it is also written very lucidly in a very simple language i hope you will enjoy this lecture thank you very much